Hi, and welcome to this video on understanding Apache Camel. In this video, I'm going to tell you a bit about what Camel does and how it does it. Firstly, to be able to understand Camel, it helps to understand the problem that it's trying to solve. Companies often have data in lots of different locations. We might have data stored on servers, on databases, on cloud apps, uh, and in other places as well. Sometimes we need to move data between these places. Let's say I want to fetch a zip file from a server and extract it. Or let's say I need to take some files from a folder and copy them up to Dropbox. This is integration. And what it means is moving data between different systems. People have been doing it in lots of different ways, probably since computers were invented. If you want to integrate systems yourself, you'll typically need to write a program to do it. Uh, when you write your program, it might need to understand the protocols of the systems you want to connect to, like HTTP or FTP. It might also need to understand different data formats, like zip files or XML files. And it might also need to know how to interact with APIs, like Dropbox's API or Twitter's API. What Camel does is it provides a bunch of libraries to do this stuff in Java without you having to write all of this code yourself. It's an integration framework. What that means is it's a library for Java, which provides a bunch of stuff to make it easier to develop integrations. In other words, it helps you to write integrations and run them from inside Java. The core part of Camel is the engine. Uh, this runs your integrations. And to run integrations in the engine, you write a bunch of instructions to Camel, uh, which are in a specialized language. Uh, this language is the way that you define your integration workflows for Camel. In other words, it's how you define where you want to pull data from, what you want Camel to do with it, and where the data needs to go. And to help you do that, Camel comes with components that allow you to connect to things like web services or FTP servers, or apps like Salesforce or Twitter. And this is all based in Java. When all of it's put together, Camel is basically the glue that connects different systems together. Another core part of Camel is that it comes with a built-in set of patterns that you can use in your integration flows. These are based on design patterns that were originally proposed in this book, Enterprise Integration Patterns. These are like common approaches to integrations or like design patterns for software. Camel has uh, implementations for most of the patterns in the book, so you can use them in your integrations. Patterns are a tricky concept, so here's a couple of examples. For example, let's say you want to split a message into multiple lines, then you can use the splitter pattern, which is implemented in Camel. In your integration workflow, you just tell Camel to use the splitter pattern, and you also tell it how you want to split the message. Or another example, let's say you want to perform some action based on the content of a message, like you want to route it somewhere or delete it. Then you would use the content-based routing pattern. This is another pattern that's built into Camel, and again, you can configure it using code. These are just two examples, but there are a dozen more patterns that you can use in Camel. So how do you actually get started with Camel? Well, you start by adding the libraries. You can either add them to an existing app if you have one, or you can use one of the quick starts that are available with the Camel distribution. Then you write your integration flows using Camel's language or DSL. Um, in Camel, these flows are called routes. When you're writing your routes, you decide which components you need, so which systems you're going to talk to, and you also decide which patterns you're going to use. And then finally, you start the Camel engine. You can do this either explicitly in code, or if you're using a framework like Spring or Spring Boot, then there's some code that will do that for you. Generally, you can embed Camel in almost any Java app. So this means you can run it inside most applications, whether you're a fan of Spring or Spring Boot or Java EE or OSGI. Hopefully you've got an idea now of what Camel does and how it works. Uh, just to recap, and this is the definition taken from the Camel website, Apache Camel is a versatile open source integration framework based on enterprise integration patterns. That's it for this short video. I hope it's given you a quick introduction to Camel. If you want more free Camel tutorials, then check out my blog at cleverbuilder.com. Thanks for watching. 